Welcome in to the new members and to the old members that have found their way back to the community. I need you just as much as you need me. On this morning's update, we're going to deal with the topic that we suspected could be a possibility here. As XRP's broken down here about 5.6%, we failed to hold the very key critical resistance level and support level, and it continued to be used as resistance at the 63.3 cent level. We talked about last night on the live what would have to happen if there was in fact a sneaky reversal to one dollar happening and the conditions just aren't being met as of right now as of right now we continue to have this bearish thesis at least in the immediate short term if we look at this properly we talked about how we needed to hold the 63.3 cent area last night and then we could try to bounce off it try to push the 73 cents and the only way to have this push out over a dollar is the breakout bullish out of this cup and handle formation. We're trying to bullish handle, but the fact we can't hold 63.3, this could at any time, if you're below that 63.3 mark, at any time when you're below that yellow line, as we talked about yesterday, you could initiate an 18.6% drop, maybe a little bit further, about 19% down to 50 cents. And unfortunately for us so far this morning, that's what's starting to happen is we're down 5.4%. But I don't want everybody to get too ahead of themselves yet. As you can see with the pattern formation, we still are attempting a breakout of the short-term ascending formation. Well, not even ascending, but it's more like a falling support resistance level. But that is the patterns that we had started forming. And had we have gotten a rejection here, we could have fell down to about 45 cent area at worst. But now if we get a breakup, this is still targeting somewhere around 76 cents if it holds the back side of this. So this could be a classic retest or this is going to fall right there. If we lose 598, this is all for nothing, it looks like. And then you would have to come down and retest those 50 cent areas and such. So, but if we're looking at this from a more basic standpoint, how we had it originally, how we had the little resistance right here, support right here, because we know it's going to be a two tier setup either way. So if you were to break up from here and you do it like that, just from the smaller uh, formation. It's gonna be a little bit lower if you end up breaking from there. Um, I actually like to look at it from both ways because if we get the smaller bounce here, then you could come up to, what is that, about 70 cents, 71 cents. And then we know if you get a breakdown here, let's see. Let's just say it broke down right here. And you did get this rejection on the back side of this. Now, if it falls back in, it would have to be falling down from right here. So that's why you would get that expanded look. I think this is the smaller version of if it falls through. But if we were to lose that bigger area, could make it interesting for this drop. So we need to pay attention here. So let's just see which way it decides to go. It's either you're going to break up out of here and you could push up towards that either 70.9 cent or 76 cents on those two resistance areas. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out exactly. If we can hold the back side of this formation, you could get a nice breakout attempt here. And let me put it back in how it was. This is where you'd be looking at a technical move if it breaks up. But this is really our last chance, XRP holders. If we don't hold this support on this back test, we're in some trouble here because then we could really consolidate here. We could really consolidate down in our first big area, as we know, is going to be around that 50 cent mark. Yes, we've got this mediocre spot at 55.4, but honestly, do we think that's going to hold if we do break this formation? To me, if we break this formation, I think it screams at us. I think it screams at us that we would just start playing back into this formation once it loads. It's taking an awful long time to load that in. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so as we can see here, and in the weekly, that is very much a reversal candle, as we've been talking about for the whole week. So if this plays bearish, and we get that rejection, which we've gotten several times here at 63.3, you know, we've got to get some volume here now. We've got to get some volume. We've done ourselves a disservice here today, big time. We did not hold 63.3 cents. We've got a 
engulfing candle to the downside. We've invalidated at least for a split second what we're trying to achieve here, especially if we fall below 607. That's, a, that's bad news this morning. So as of right now, the only headline I'm going to put out when I do this update is XRP failed to hold its retest, like literally. So now we've fallen into a danger zone here. But don't be tricked here because, you know, it pushed us up like it did. But we said you could consider selling everything once we had this final 10 to 15% pump market wide. This is what I was talking about. I didn't sell anything, but this is exactly what I was talking about, this scenario playing out. So we came up to a nice resistance. We tried to hold the support on a continuation, but we just couldn't do it. Right now, we just couldn't do it. And the other news of note is that XRP Wales reshuffles 75 million tokens as price regains momentum. So again, as the price is reshifting, you get the whales just dumping out. So it's almost like there's a dog and pony show going on here, and we're, we're, the, uh, we're the casualty of war right now. That's why I think spot is king. Leverage trading, you could have been up beautifully yesterday. Now it's completely reversed back down. If you were going short yesterday, you got liquidated. Going long yesterday, you probably got liquidated on the way down today. So I think spot is king as I think it's a big, big cheap trick that they're pulling on each and every one of us. Kind of like going to the casino and playing roulette or the slots or whatever. The house always wins because the house plays with no emotion. Whether we win or lose, the house could get, it doesn't care because over time we give it back. So I believe that's the big game with leverage. They target the newer traders. And like I've been telling my audience, if you make a $50 leverage trade and you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do 100X at $50. And then even if I lose it, so be it. It's $50. While you do that four or five times, even a month, you're talking $250, $300 a month or a week. Before you understand it, it's snowballed in the thousands of dollars. And my own advice is, why not just put $50 into XRP right here at 60 cents if you're just going to leverage trade? Who cares if it goes down 20%? You're going to lose 100% of it anyhow trying to play that game. So like a lot of people are okay with spending $1,000, putting a 20% stop loss and losing 200 bucks leverage trading, but they're unafraid, they're unwilling or afraid to put $1,000 into a trade at 60 cents on the fears that it'll lose 20%, but at least you have the entire trade still. I don't understand the logic. So... Personally, though, right now, I wouldn't do anything because if we break down, we know what our technical moves are. We've got 55, 53, and 50 cents on the three support levels underneath that are being targeted by the technical breakdown moves. So we're going to take a look at this. We'll continue looking at Bitcoin. As I said yesterday, anything under 66,600 is very bearish for Bitcoin. It's down 3.82% today. So we're going to take a very close look at all this. We're going to take a close look at the whales. But I wanted to get that information out for anybody who's watching over the first eight minutes before I even did the intro and the time. If you are watching, please make sure that that like button so YouTube recommends this update. It'll allow more people to reach us, not just new but older viewers as well, that have a purpose, that need to see the content. If you hit that like button and YouTube recommends this update, when you scroll through your YouTube feed... XRP Future Millionaires update pops up. My content pops up because I'm part of the algorithm and everybody can find their way back home. So without that being said, good morning. 10.26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, March 22nd, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire and I reside in the great state of Michigan. Again, the alarming status quo here is that the tide is shifting in regards to the XRP holders mindset. XRP holders are giving up on XRP. Whether they're holding it or not, the mind shift is changing, especially for the fact that X Ripple agreed with the SEC to seal and stay quiet on what's transpiring right now within the lawsuit. So good, bad, or indifferent as an XRP holder who has a stake, some small stake in Ripple by holding that entity off of the ledger, we're being blindsided here and it is not right. It's not transparent. And I, for one, am very ticked off about it. There's nothing I can do about it, but I can voice my opinion to my 21,000 uh, members of my audience. I think it's not right that we have a stake in XRP, which gives us a branching out into Ripple by virtue, but yet we have no idea what's going on behind closed doors. That in itself is a fallacy. You're supposed to have a right so 
thinking about that, you have to look at the momentum shift with XRP. You have to look at how some long-term holders have gotten out. And even whales, as it's concerned, we're starting to see a massive shift in the whales portfolios as they're starting to unload at every key upturn. So again, was that push up yesterday for us to make us feel good because we're coming apart from Bitcoin? Or was that so whales could continue to get a better selling price? And again, yesterday, just by them doing what they did, they got about nine to 10% value per dollar that they sold. So again, what is really going on behind closed scenes? And are we even telling us, being told a speck, I mean a speck of the truth? I suspect not. So with that being said, XRP right now is down 4.91%. We continue, and it's taking forever for TradingView to load for whatever reason this morning. Um, but right now, as we can see, we failed Told at 63.3 cents. The important of this hold is that's the cup and handle. We have a bullish handle right now on the cup, and we'll get into the cup in a second. But this is the first tier of the handle. If you're below this yellow line, at any time you can drop 18% down to the bottom of the cup, or 19% down to about 50 cents, 50 and a half cents. The moment you get above 633, you back test and you hold. Now it's about yeah, we'll still say 633, about 63 cents on the back test now. As long as you hold that, now you have a breakout attempt. The top resistance of this handle, you cannot make this parabolic break to a dollar twenty area unless you break bullish out of this handle. Unfortunately, what I've been saying is that we have some work to do because unless we invalidate this current move down and we would have to break 63.3 cents, then you got to break 67, then you got to break 70, then you got to break 75 or 74. What I'm saying is we built a lot of resistance in the areas now. But we can see a right now a left shoulder, a head, a right shoulder. If this comes down, you can very clearly see the three pillars of a head and shoulders formation. We have not sugarcoated this. That's our problem here. That's why you have to invalidate the structure. This W reversal has to play out. And it's very close to being invalidated right now. We will know if this gets invalidated, and it's very simple. If we go out to the November 2021 uh, pattern, if we can't back test this and hold this 5.9, it is over. This would, in, this would incite a huge drop that nobody wants to see. However, it could stop at 50 cents. So just be aware of what's starting to play out here. If you could get a parabolic spike off of this hold, it would be in target to retest that 75 cents on a break up. We know the, the overall problem here, if we were to break down with XRP, depending on your viewpoint, some people think it's a good thing, some people think it's a bad thing. I wish TradingView wasn't going so slow because I can't even load in my charts in real time. So something's going on as TradingView always seems to have problems when there's high times of volatility. And we're starting to notice that more and more in 24 as their scaling seems to be getting worse and worse as they start to charge more and more, ironically. So normally when we see companies start to charge an arm and a leg, they start to have serious problems with their software for some reason. And that's what's happening with TradingView recently. So we failed so far. We have absolutely failed to hold this 633. Now we have engulfing candles coming down on the two hourly. We're about to invalidate this structure as we had a golden cross. And we talked about yesterday, even in the live, we said if we can't come down and hold that area, we said 62 cents, maybe even 61 and a half cents. This could be a big problem because we still have an inverted head and shoulders trying to form. But the moment you invalidate this, and now it's down at 57 cents, we could easily invalidate this if we continue this uh, current flow. However, we're going to start to get into that oversold range in the smaller time frames. And now we need to start looking, are there traps being set? The problem with thinking if there's a trap being set is we're falling below every single major support area we must hold. Now, the only thing that we could say is maybe we went below 63.3 to come down to this 596 support, which was the breakout attempt of this prior formation. And now it's the back test. I mean, I would show you, but TradingView is simply not loading anything. It's insanity. It will not load my chart. It's loading every other chart. It'll eventually load this chart but I won't fill it out. So I would love to show you what I've been saying and you know continue to, <laughs> but this is part of the issue we've been seeing with TradingView, it's been absurd. So finally, after about 72 minutes, we've got, this is what we're looking at. We either have to hold this breakout attempt of this formation, 
because it's our first chance to, and then we could try to have a target up, you know, at about 75. It's not even saving anything I do either. That's the frustrating part. 75 or 76 cents. So that's what we're looking at unless we break up right now. If XRP is still bullish, we've got to hold this line. We can't give this back at 596. Can't do it. If you give it back, you're almost guaranteed to come down to at least 55 cents. And then worse, about 50 cents. If that breaks, well, then it's calamity. We're not going to go farther than that today, but that's what's going on right now. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what XRP needs to do. The warning this morning is very vigilant, or vigilant to be vigilant. But it's very serious right now. XRP has failed at 63.3. It's failed to 615. The only hope we have left of having a bullish continuation is holding the 596 breakout back test of this short-term formation. And we're not even doing it with a great, uh, a great bit of certainty. We just know we're back testing the outside of the structure. And until we break back through, technically, we could have an attempted breakout. But we definitely need to be careful here this morning now. And with Bitcoin, and then we'll read over the whales, and then I'll let this go. I'll let this uh, be released. Bitcoin could not stay over that 66,000. We talked about how this 200-day right here in the 4-hourly was our key bounce point. Or what was it? Was that the 2-hour? Mm. That's at the 3-hour now. The 4-hourly is down here at 62,500. So let's modify a little bit. We don't even need to modify because Bitcoin right now, let me put this back in. Bitcoin, let's see. We have like what looks like an inverted head and shoulders trying to form. Left shoulder, head, down to the, if this breaks at the four hourly, it's over. If this breaks the four hour, 200 day, this is, this structure is going to be invalidated. Right now, in order to have this inverted head and shoulders push, because you can clearly see some kind of inversion, some kind of head, inverted shoulder, or arm, and as long as we can hold the 200 day, this should have a volatile break back up. If you break this structure to the downside, I don't think 60 or 59 is holding. I think you're coming back to the broadening wedge retest after the breakout right around 56,400. This is probably what would happen. And Bitcoin is not looking great here. No reason to sugarcoat it, it's not looking great. Bitcoin continues to have this downtrending support that it's trying to break out of. Are we going to come back and retest this in the very short term? It's possible, especially with the current momentum here this morning. For anybody who wanted to have a breakout, this is not what you were looking for this morning. Now, it could just be a common day retest on the lower levels, but this is definitely getting back into a danger zone. For anybody who wanted this to break out, you wanted it, for Bitcoin, you wanted it to hold 66,600 initially. And for XRP, you definitely wanted this to hold 60, uh 63.3 cents. Now you've created what looks like some kind of weird wedge, possibly with X, with uh, Bitcoin after it fell out. So like these can get ugly. Like this has got to do something here in the short term. Otherwise, Bitcoin is starting to be squeezed here a little bit. And I'm telling you, this all leads coming down into this section. So I'm not going to put this up there, but that downtrending resistance is something that needs to be paid attention to. Because if it continues to get beaten down here, it really is leading down to that retest of that broadening wedge breakout unless it can break this narrative very quickly here for bitcoin um i think the wider pattern is in play if it breaks down here we we've been talking about how it would behoove us not to come down here and it's not very often when you would come down after or you wouldn't come down and retest such a wide broadening wedge breakout structure now that happens to be at fifty six thousand six sixty six. ironically and you can't make these numbers up so that's what we're going to look at if we lose that 60,793. Next up would be about a 4,000 point drop to 56,600 to the broadening wedge uh, retest. And other than that, if you do appreciate my work, please make sure to hit that like button so YouTube will recommend this update. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see further content and join the over 21,000 subscribers as we went over that yesterday, which I'm very thrilled about. Um, if you're looking to trade XRP in the USA, look in the video description below and or pinned comments. There's BitUnix. There's no VPN needed. You don't need to use a KYC unless you're sending money from your bank or transferring into your bank account from, from exchange to exchange. There's no KYC. And they have the lowest spot in leverage trading fees in the USA. I suggest you get it right right now. 
have an exchange that has a lot of liquidity available so that if, when we do have these drops, as we're having a drop today, you can buy in in these high times of volatility instead of always having to wait on the side of the road until everything starts coming back up. When most of the exchanges are down, this exchange has been up with BitUnix time and time again. So take advantage of it. That's where I've been. I've got over $3,000 there just in case of a big drop. And we'll see what happens if we can pick something up. If you're looking to buy XRP Healthcare, in the video description below and our pinned comments, there's Maxi if it's available to you. If you're a USA user, you're not going to be able to use it right away unless you have a VPN. But if you're an older user, you can. But if you're across the pond in the UK or on that side of the world, definitely take advantage of that if you're looking for that. The healthcare token, 100 million circulating supply. It's digital healthcare on the XRP ledger, along with a bunch of other things with it. But it's a virtual pharmacy slash basically doctor in the making. And um, you've also got the ability to, not not just if you have the ability on um, Maxi, it's also got no spot fees right now on buy. So if you have the ability, take advantage of it. So anyhow, other than that, if you want to show me personal support, you can always join Tom's Army or consider sending one YouTube super chat as we're coming up to the end of the month. That is all I ask. So XRP Wales reshuffle 75 million coins as price regains momentum. What's next? So in a remarkable shift of events, XRP, a cryptocurrency backed by Ripple Labs, recently took the cryptocurrency world by storm. It took the cryptocurrency world by storm. Its price showcased signs of recovery following a massive slump over the past few days, sparking investor enthusiasm. Regaining an upward momentum of press time, the token topped the 63 cent mark. Amid this recovery, witnessed within the broader market, enormous whale activity hovering over the crypto horizon nabbed significant investor attention. 75 million XRP on the move per market data. Curated a tidal wave of speculation among crypto enthusiasts surrounding XRP's current tokenomics, questioning the ripple back tokens price action ahead. According to the insight streamlined by the, and we all know what the 75 million was for, as we dumped down now 7%. It's not let us trick us. They sold the whales because they, Again, bent us over the retail investors. So we get to take the punch again. Um, whale alert, three massive transactions collectively aided to them to transfer 75 million tokens. Two of these transactions showcased the renowned XRP whale offloading XRP to sexes. Meanwhile, an unknown address accumulated XRP from Unbit, Upbit, another sex. 30 million XRP worth 19 million was noted to be bought by the address. Shifted 22, uh, whereas the XRP well RZN shifted 22.15 million XRP worth 13.94 million to Bitstamp and 23.2 million XRP worth 14.89 million to Bitso. This showcased a mixed sentiment among XRP whales as transactions above illustrated an accumulation of dump in hand. Meanwhile, the dump stirred speculation over a bearish market trend, the notable accumulation coming in tandem with XRP's price upswing birth bullishness. As of writing, and XRP is no longer here, so we don't need to read that. Um, so, Coin Glass spotlighted a substantial 8.26% surge in XRP's open interest, accompanied by a volume of 14.92% rise, adding on the token's bullish stance in the market, coupled with an OI weighted funding rate jumped to 0.0316%. This tended at considerable new money inflow in the derivatives market, increased market activity. And a heightened sense of readiness among investors to invest more in a long position. And as I've talked about that dollar to hit, we've talked about every stage that has to happen because everybody keeps talking about the dollar and I'm showing signs of caution until we can get past key levels because right now that is not even an option. In the interim, technical indicators showcase a buying sentiment for the token prevails in the market per trading view data pointing to the further potential gains only be a layer of optimism surrounding XP's run to $1 in April already prevails within the broader market with current market data further weighing in. But I don't even care about all that. See, XRP to hit a dollar has to break very key levels of resistance. And in fact, we're not that's not even on the table right now. If you wanted that to be on the table, XRP yesterday to hold 633, ultimately break up past the technical resistance target at 72, hitting past the technical resistance point and getting out of the handle, the bullish handle, and then ultimately pushing up to a dollar twenty. Right now, the line that we're on this is not the trend we want to be on. If you're looking for a calamity and an outbreak, this is not what you're looking for. This is an all-out breakdown, and this is the whales putting out all-out war against retail investors, and they're making a lot of money off of this while we're stuck holding the bag time and time again here during this consolidatory phase. The only reason I'm not mad about it is because it's the accumulation phase, but I'll tell you what they're doing right now. This reeks trading bot manipulation. Reeks. 
So right now, unless we can hold the 60, uh, 596 level, unless we can hold 596, it's going to get ugly. If we hold 596, we've got a massive breakout attempt in the making, but it continues to be contingent upon now. 63.3 cents over the top, and then ultimately breaking up and over that bullish cup and handle. Because we all know the implications of breaking down out of a bullish cup and handle. Many people won't want to see it. But if we break up, we're going to a dollar twenty, dollar twenty-one. But an equal and opposite reaction would have to happen. If it's not bullish, it's bearish. And let's just say XRP does worst case scenario. That's two point eight cents. And a lot of people are laughing. Well, how the hell would you get there out of this? Well, if you break down a bullish handle, instead of having that bullish continuation, you're gonna have that bearish breakdown. All that pressure built up for the rise would not be put into the drop. So we're going to watch this day by day. Don't let your emotions take hold. If you made it until the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments. But do not get thrown off of this and do not be trapped by the whales. The whales do not have our interest at heart. And I believe there's a dog and pony show going on here that ultimately leads likely to a significant drop unless we can break bullish which we should 85% of the time, we should break bullish out of a bullish cup and handle as that's a bullish continuation pattern out of the handle. But as of right now, we continue to have this bearish tendency and these could be shakeouts, but just don't get too over uh, attached as far as a big run up or a big breakdown. Just watch it each and every day transparently. Have a good morning.